What's up everybody, Jan Dettels here, also known as Typefool on Instagram. And in today's video, I'm going to show you how this number six is created. It's created with diagonal lines. And as you can see, the lines at the corner of the number flow into the lines of the background. And I'm going to show you how it's done in Illustrator. Okay, let's open Illustrator. Click on the rectangle tool in the toolbar. We want to create the number six in a square eventually. Okay, so click on the top, hold shift and drag it to the bottom side of the artboard. <clears throat> okay, we want to make sure the fill color is white and the stroke color we want none. Okay, so we want to open the window panel, click on window and then appearance. So we have this fill color again over here and the stroke color which is set to none. Click on the add new fill button. We want to add some line pattern in this fill. Click on it two times. Click on the left bottom uh, swatch libraries menu. Open patterns and basic graphics and click on graphic basic graphic lines. Okay, so as you can see now, you have, we have some presets over here of lines. So you can choose any lines you want. I will go with 60% and we can now close this tab. Okay, so what we want to do now, we want to go to window and open the transform panel <clears throat> because this effect is mainly done with the transform panel. Click on the top left, click on the top right side to open the options. We want to make sure transform pattern only is selected. First of all, we are going to scale the lines a little bit. So we have a little bit less lines in it. Okay, this looks quite good. So what we want to do now is we want to set the angle to minus 45 degrees and press on tab. Okay, this looks good. So for now we want to create the number six. And first of all, I'm going to create a grid where I'm going to create the number six in. So to create this grid, open, click on the rectangle tool, click on new layer, and then we want to create a rectangle in this new layer. Be sure the fill is set to white and the stroke is set to black. Or even better, the fill is set to none. Okay, select the rectangle, go to object, go to path, and go to split into grid. Make this 10 numbers and the columns 10 numbers as well. Press on OK. Duplicate the grid underneath the grid again with holding Shift and Option and drag it to the bottom side of it. Okay, now we can lock the layer by clicking on the lock over here. Click on the rectangle tool in the toolbar. Click on your layer one again. And then we can create the rectangle. And this functions as a grid right now. So it's really easy to create stuff in a grid like this. Okay, set the stroke a little bit thicker so we can see what we are doing. So now we want to duplicate this rectangle by selecting it and drag it to the bottom with holding Option and Shift. Okay, 
do this again for now do this again and we want to rotate this one for 90 degrees and we are going to add it to the right side now we want to make the left crossbar of the number six duplicate it again and scale this one up to the top bar of the number six okay as you can see we have now created the number six out of rectangles and now we want to uh, create one shape out of it press on shift m this is the shape builder tool and now we can drag over the parts to create one solid shape okay this looks quite good now we can hide our second layer because we don't need the grid anymore select the number six press on the eyedropper tool in the toolbar and click on the fill of the rectangle as you can see the number six ha now has the same fill as the rectangle okay so for now go to the transform panel again we want to make the number six a little bit bigger <clears throat> press on the options and click on transform object only now we can only transform the object and the lines will keep the same properties okay so for now we want to click again on the options and click on transform pattern only we now want to set these to 90 degrees and so the lines are now pointing on in the other direction and now we are going to add this number six on the other lines and we have to give this a white fill color as well because we can now see the background lines through our number six and this is something we don't want to go to the appearance panel again click on add new fill drag it to the bottom side double click on it and click on white okay as you can see there is something happening right now and now we want to make sure these lines are aligned with each other and how we are going to do this is go to the transform panel click on the uh, transform object only again and we are going to do this with our white direct selection tool click on it zoom in a little a little bit and now we want to select the top part of the number six and now we can drag it with our arrows on the keyboard down or up a little bit and we want to make sure these lines are aligned with the background lines so we are going to do, do this with all sides i'm going to show you how it's done also for these right sides click on the path and just drag it a little bit with the arrows okay again for the left side of the number six and drag this one a little bit in and for this part we can also select this line together with this line because they are on the same uh, alignment and drag these to the right side a little bit okay this looks quite good you can drag this one a little bit down this one a little bit down as well we are going to drag this one a little bit down and this one a little bit down down we go okay so for this one we want to drag it to the right side this one uh, we can drag to the right side as well okay this one has a little bit more detail in it so i'm going to zoom in a little bit okay i'm just going to drag this one with the mouse okay something like this so do i have all the sides aligned i think so this looks quite good okay so yeah this is how it's done 
we have created the number six, but basically you can create any number or any letter with this. Um, but it has to be a sort of form like this six squared. Otherwise it won't work out pretty well with the, with the background in it. But yeah, you can create words with it. You can also create stuff like this, which I created one or two years ago. It's a tribute for Kobe. And you can see his portrait photo through the letters. But this is something for later. I will show this in another tutorial. For now, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and follow the channel. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Peace.